I'm not afraid any. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Ah! Please, like, dear Jesus, take the book right there. What? I can't marry your daughter. Come on, look. I have 13 hearts. Hey guys, Gox here with some Catacomb Kids, and we have Lord Seth here too. Ah! <laughs> As you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a wonderful early alpha game. It's on Steam. It's by... It's by 4-Bit Friday! Yeah, and it, it's really early alpha, so don't expect too much out of it, but where it is now is already amazing. And today we're going to be playing campaign. Yeah, and it's, uh, what, Catacomb, or Chatacomb Hids? <laughs> <laughs> get it, go, get it. It's, it's, yeah, okay. <laughs> the C and the H almost took together. But yeah, no, the genre is uh, action, indie, RPG, early access. Yeah, so it's it's really early access. Like, as you can see, it looks like they want at least six uh, different classes here, but there's only two, the bully and the poet. I'm going to be playing bully. The bolder. And all the characters are randomized, and here is... My favorite parts is the traits right underneath the health. This character has magical armor and magical weapon. So my breastplate is of heat and my hammer is of rending. But I hate spears, so I won't be able to pick up or use a spear. And I'm clumsy, so I'll trip over rocks on the ground. He also has a magical smolder. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really smolder, I guess. And then things like messy eater will stop me from getting full healing from food items. That, that guy's just like, my father doesn't love me! I usually take whoever has the most health, because god damn is this game punishing. Alright. Potion on the ground. Oh, uh, talk about the potions, how they work. Alright, so potions, as you saw, I threw it at the enemy there, which may seem like a silly idea, because I ended up giving him regeneration, but a lot of time potions are bad. They can have uh, a flame effect that catches you on fire, and then you pretty much die, or you get poisoned. The general. <laughs> that was control. my controller. <laughs> the controller on the desk. The general um idea. You know, the combat you can actually avoid a lot of it just by sneaking past enemies. I usually confront it because you can loot corpses and steal all of their gear. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it has, better. has like a cross uh, inventory. I like that. And you, you're never stuck by a boulder because you can always grab it, move it, or just bust it. This would be like a great arcade game for uh, Xbox 3, 360 or Xbox One. Yeah, because I'm playing with the controller, it has full controller support already, and it's just wonderful. And here's the door to the next floor, but I don't want to go through yet. Because you don't level up through experience, you actually have to find a leveling orb. There's one for every level. Um, and here it is, it has a nice wub wub deep like vibrator sound. Like, my, like I have a deep, I have a bassy vibrator. <laughs> Um, it's like, it's it's the mountain's heart. Yeah, and, and you can take it with you, and but it won't pass through the door. It won't let you go down to the next floor with it. It's the Arkenstone! <laughs> and when I use it, it'll fill up the little bubble in the bottom right near my money. And give me this nice uh, level up screen. Now, I usually spec into defense right away. Because uh, after you up a stat, you have a second point to put in, and you can up another stat, or you can get a bonus in the stat you upgraded. So I upgraded defense, and I'm going to go for a dire block. So if I attack just before being hit, I do a strong parry. And it's like one of my boss. favorites, because it's so handy being able to parry in this game. Very seductive. <laughs> but yeah, looks like really fun. Like. Whoever did the, the pixel art, brilliant. Yeah, and quick loading screens, too. I'm, I'm curious, because right here it says the developer is 4-Bit Friday, and the publisher is 4-Bit Friday. I wonder who actually did the work. I think it's possible it was one dude? Maybe. It's probably just a small group of a few. Okay, so this potion, uh, it was dropped by an enemy, so we already identified it by throwing out a sign, but potions that are dropped by enemies are almost always good. Or are always good, because enemies don't carry potions that will catch you on fire. I'm gonna pocket that. Boots! And yeah, so a lot of combat's not really useful to get into unless you unless it's something you can do. Like slimes are almost never worth it unless you're eating them. It's it's definitely a game that would benefit from a multiplayer. Oh yeah, I think 
I hope, I really hope they implement multiplayer can rats stole my potion. Okay, they, they have like a Spelunky-esque, uh, like, battle stadium idea. Yeah. But like, it needs a co-op multiplayer. Because, uh, Spelunky proved that it's possible to make it that way, where you can share a screen. It was a, it was a little weird in Spelunky, I didn't like it too much, but I, I know that it can be done well. It's better than that mod that they had. The oh, mod for uh, multiplayer. For the original Splunky. Oh god. Oh, that was hilarious. Right. <laughs> He's like, mmm, those stats feel good. <laughs> oh, I, lo I love spiking up into attack, too. The second attack the level is really good. I, I love games that can you, you can make your character like what you think is like the hero, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, your personal idea of what your character would be. Like personally, I like mages. You could you can make him like a mage, right? Yeah. And like, say you want a berserker class where a dude with like a strong axe does ass loads of damage. You can do that. Like I love games with that kind of uh, immersion, where you can put your heart into it. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And usually potions from chests are good potions too. This they stack. I like how you look. You look at games like super like uh, like the technical and like the guts of it. And I I like. I love him just like, I like the art. I like, he, he, it's nice when he picks up the chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the chest animation. He just shakes it. Um, glowing breastplate. That's pretty tempting. Yeah. I like the heat though. Catching things on fire is sexy. Uh, I definitely gotta say though, my favorite pixel art is Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. By far, like the chest opening animation. Just, it, 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 it's like it's almost not even pixels. Like it, it just so, moves so realistically. It's so smooth, and even though the crouch is like just like his knees bending one pixel, it's so nice. Took his arm off. <laughs> He's just like, I'll be back. So sometimes, or a lot of times, it's actually smarter just to leave. But I, I like to fight. Can you eat his arm? Uh, yes, and I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, um, no, no. and now I have, I have the bone of his arm, which if I eat, I'll probably choke on. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, he's just got normal shoes. I think I'm gonna eat him. Okay, so, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, he turns into like a small bald man. Uh, he's skeleton. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so it's like. You're you're an epic like dungeon crawler, and you're a cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to eat orcs if you're a human. That sounds like <laughs> oh. It's like if you're in zombie apocalypse, you can eat zombies. It's all good. Yeah, it makes sense, right? It's, it's a different species. Ugh. Lean meat. Aw, that sounded cute. <laughs> I like the little slimes, how they just like freaking roll. Yeah, they're cute. And if I were to eat all green slimes in my food bar, as you can see on the very bottom left, there's a orc head there, because oh, I ate okay. an orc. Or they're called grumbles. Grumbles. Or grimples or something like that. <laughs> Game <But> grimples. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat all slimes, or all of one food, you usually get a bonus. Uh, spiders will up, or um, eating all bats will up your speed one. Uh, eating all slimes, uh, all green, will overcharge your health. So it'll heal you, but if you're at full health, it'll heal you over your maximum health. So you'll have like seven out of five. Oh, I I was gonna I thought you were going like he was gonna turn green or something. <laughs> Go <laughs> you, Hulk. You ate too many carrots to turn orange. <laughs> yeah, but if you eat all uh, purple slimes, <laughs> then you get mana. Okay, that sword. Ooh, there's a sword. This oh, there's a ghost. A, yeah, it's an NPC, and he'll help you level up. Oh, I was like spoopy ghost. This this is uh, once you get to this point, I almost always make it to the boss if I can make it here. So I can ask him to teach me how to fight, and he can teach me weapon combos. Ooh. Like, if I have a dagger, I can learn how to kick. And I can even get rid of being bad with spears. So you don't like spears, so you can be like, I like swords. Yeah, and I, I could up my sword ability. I think I have a hammer now, so I could learn a oh. heavy bat. Okay, I was looking at those. I thought they were both axes. <laughs> Like yeah, and then um, help improve myself is the best because going from upgrading my class from a bully to a bruiser, enemies die at 2 HP instead of 1, or instead of 0, which is awesome. Uh, the taunt stuns foes for longer, and the taunt briefly weakens them. I'll show you the taunt right after I have And from bruiser, I can become a killer, a chance to decapitate foes, 
raise all weapon skills, which is all of these. Um, and it's kind of like a Fire Emblem leveling up system a little bit. Like, uh, you, you become a different class in all. Yeah, I, like I that. wish it had, like, a physical change to your character's look, but I armor think, does, which is nice. Well, it's in beta, so they probably eventually mm -hmm. will. Yeah, and then Taunt grants strength for each creature alerted, which is awesome. So I'm, I'm going to become a killer and then probably get rid of Clumsy. I'm going to become a killer. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, the, the, once you make it to this NPC... It's so much easier, and he can tell you things, and that's a useless thing. Uh, goo isn't very nutritious unless you go all in. Apparently, bats are the opposite, best in moderation, so... That's he, a weird word. Is that how you spell bats? No. <laughs> Why? It's like bites. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little weird. Can you steal his magical sword? No, I wish you could. But now if I taunt... I'm too good. See, I get strength bonus. It pulls him in, but he... <laughs> is weakened and easier to defeat. <laughs> okay. So this kind of makes you more of a battle-ready class if you upgrade into killer. I think we need to work on the voices a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of the girl characters sound like really young and sometimes the taunt says, oh, it tangles. And I'm, uh, like, um, <laughs> I'm not sure about I'm this. I'm too good. I'm too good. <laughs> is, are you a guy? Yeah. <laughs> At least I think I am. James W. He's like, mm, he should have, okay, a character like that, his voice should be like, mmm, Kwan. <laughs> that slime was superb. Who was Skelton? Oh, they're so creepy sounding. I think, hey, that, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Oh, um, when, uh, or here's you, they're like, I hear you. These guys are like, ah, come over here. Like, I'm too, I'm too good. I'm, I'm not good. I'm fabulous. Oh, I don't want that stick. Whoa, that looks... Okay. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Skeleton had nothing on him. Can you eat him and choke to death? Yeah, if you try and eat bones, you choke and take damage, I think. <laughs> That's fantastic. I just imagine, like, a guy with, like, a bone stuck in his throat. He's like, oh, so much oh. detail. <laughs> you can squish them with rocks. It's... Oh, this game is just fantastic. It, it, it seems like later later on it's going to get hard, right? So it, it, it's really... It looks like it's going to be skill-based. Like, strictly skill-based later. Yeah. The thing is, it's not as tight as Splunky is with its controls, which does make it a little um, harder to play if you're used to other platformers. But like all platformers, you, you gotta work your way into it. You know, I think gaming needs a nice like breath of fresh air with these kind of games. Like, you no, know, like uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I like Call of Duty and I like um, shooters and first-person shooters, but I think it's about time that they they start to think of more inventive ideas. Yeah. Like, see, like, Nintendo, Nintendo, like, I'm a fan of Nintendo, even though most people hate it. Um, but I think the reason why people hate it is because they have inventive ideas. Yeah. Like, first, um, handheld system that has 3D without glasses, like, that's nuts. But they get persecuted and, like, crucified for, like, talking and coming up, or coming up with ideas about, like, that kind of stuff. It's because everybody's afraid to try something new. The games need to do stuff like this, get back to the roots. Yeah, this game really does a lot of things right. And look, ball of slime sticks to the wall, and you can jump on it. Uh, that is inter That's fantastic. Like it has ways to help you traverse the environment it, really well. It's like an old, old like NES game or like a SNES game or like a Super Nintendo game, but done better. Like kind of like uh, I'd say it's done more. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what <laughs> word I'm trying to say, but it's like it's more user friendly. Yeah, it, and it has a lot of its own feel to it. It's like it's hard to make comparisons because I can say it's kind of like Dark Souls because it's difficult, but that's not completely true because it's not really like Dark Souls at all. It's just difficult like Dark Souls. And oh, I stood in the poison cloud too long. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, you also like I die from poison at least up there is gonna be so freaking difficult i've never played a game that is as hard as dark souls that doesn't make me rage quit yeah <laughs> dark souls is probably the only game i've ever played that is so hard but i enjoy it yeah dark souls i'm not sure what they did but it must be a recovery system or something but it's so e easy to not have to rage quit like you get into it so i've had it i've started to head back here because that trap um, blocking that way is going to make that almost impossible to get through. 
So, if and there are times where it puts you in an impossible spot, you can go through the entrance and find another way. Oh, okay. Which is so awesome, because I've spawned in a one-by-one -one room with the door. No way out. And being able to... Oh, bat swarm. Holy crap, bat swarm. Good thing I'm trying to eat bats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bat explosion? Yeah. So we should be coming up on the boss on this floor. Oh, well, I'm teleported. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, I just want to find the boss. I see you. I'll probably end this run. Not by choice, <laughs> but it's probably for the best. So the boss will. Oh wait, no, it won't be on this floor because I found another way. Uh, let's just quickly find the exit. Oh, <laughs> the skeleton voice. That is just fantastic. The that sounds great. So many bats on this floor. Get away from me, all Why am I taunting too much? God damn. The I bats! They got the moves like a batter! Yeah, it's a little hard to fight bats because they're in the air. <clears throat> like every single bat enemy in gaming history is like that. Yeah. <laughs> the keys from Ocarina of Time. They're like, oh my goodness. The Z targeting is the only reason why that game's bearable. Yeah, you can't turn in midair. What's that? Circle-y doodad. Oh, that's the teleporter. I won't actually go back that way because this way was a dead end. Or not the way I wanted to go. At least. Oh, I that. God damn it. Okay, but we don't want this video to be too long, so we're, uh, we'll skip to where the boss is to give you guys a quick look of what the boss is like. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, we we died. Well, you died. <laughs> um, but we, we we started a new class, uh, magic class, and we're back to a, we're, we we got, we made it to a boss. Yeah, we're here with Andy A, the poet, and we're fighting the first boss, the Reaper. Um, before we get into it, uh, explain what the, how the torches work. Oh yeah, so you can. Uh, there's no like boss altar or boss room. It's there's these blue magic torches in the background and when you see them That means you're at the boss and if you walk close enough to light all the all of them then the boss appears So we lit all the torches and we have no strength. Yeah at all, but we can sneak <laughs> Yeah, so I was playing a stealth class, so I was just sneaking past everything, so I, I deal 0 to 2 damage when I fight. So I'm just trying to get a fire spell going. There we go. Hopefully that has lots of charges, and the boss is making it lag a bit. Oh my goodness. I found he does that sometimes, because he's a bit of an able. That is very terrifying. And then, oh, manifest your face. Show me your face. Show oh, me bad our swimmer in this freaking water everywhere. Hey, hey. Holy oh, god. That is terrifying. God, it's hard to hit with this. Oh, so yeah, this was the Reaper you were talking about. Yeah. The glowing. Oh my. I can't hit him with this <laughs> damn fireball. It's the only real attack I have. Got killed. Where, does he, where's his health bar? Uh, he doesn't have one. Oh, I caught him on fire. Maybe I'll actually kill him. Oh, there he goes. You can't see me. <laughs> okay, Magic 101. What kind of spell do I get with this one? Come okay. On, book. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There we go. Back. What's um, that little number I'm filming? Was that a pop-up book? Uh, I got a pop-up book. Fear me. You <laughs> just scared the shit. Oh, he's tinier. Oh, I've never gotten to this phase of the fight. You're like, you're scaring the shit out of him. Maybe it's the spell. He's like, you're scary. He's trying to put that book away. Ah, god damn, I don't know how to put them away. He's not using up any of the charges. Well, when's the first time you played this game? Like, you're pretty new at it too, right? Yeah. You did it. You killed him. I don't get it. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, my hammer. He just 
quite a bit of damage, and yeah, that was the boss. I we hope did you it! guys enjoyed. Andy A is now deceased. <laughs> Andy A has his asshole ripped open now. Um. So yeah, uh, we're gonna put out another. This is episode one of us just playing the campaign. Well, Gox playing the campaign, and episode two is just gonna be us playing the what? Uh, the verses. The verses, just like Splunky. So we'll see you peeps in the next video. Bye bye. No, no.